Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to connect your Xbox One controller to your Google TV device. You know, maybe you wanna do some Android gaming or whatever, hey, it's gonna be up to you. So to get this done, uh, we wanna make sure that your Google TV device is fully updated with the latest operating system updates. Uh, so be sure to do that first. Then we wanna make sure that your Xbox One controller is fully compatible with Bluetooth technology. So just looking at this image I put up, if your controller has the face plate with the same material that goes around the Xbox logo, you're good. Uh, basically, if your controller looks similar to the one in the bottom of this image. If your controller is like the one at the top of the image, then your controller does not support Bluetooth and this guide won't work for you. From here on out, what you want to do is press and hold the Xbox button until it powers on your controller. Um, and then, of course, it might turn on your console like it just did for me. No problem. What you want to do is walk over to your Xbox One console and press and hold the power button for a few seconds. Eventually, the console will turn off. Um, then going back to the controller to resume, what you want to do is press and hold the sync button for a few seconds on the top until the Xbox logo starts to flash. That's how you know it's now in pairing mode. Now what you want to do is go to your Google TV device and open the main system settings menu. The easiest way to do that is go to your Google profile picture, usually at the top right, uh, select it and then hit settings to open that menu. And then from here, what you're going to do is select remotes and accessories. Then you're going to select pair remote or accessory. From here, you should eventually see your Xbox wireless controller appear as a device. Tap on it and within a few seconds it should pair with your Google TV device and you're good to go. If you feel like giving it a really quick test, what you can do is start navigating the menu with the controller itself and that's pretty much it, you're good to go. So if you want to pair your controller back to your Xbox One console, it's super easy. Once again, make sure that the controller is powered on and up and running and then what you want to do is press and hold the sync button for about 3 seconds until the Xbox logo starts to flash. Then you're going to walk over to your console and make sure it's powered on, just hit it with the power button on the console itself and then tap the sync button, which basically puts it into pairing mode. And then within a few seconds, it'll pair back with your controller and you're good to go. That's pretty much it. So if you found this video useful, be sure to check out the written guide on these exact same steps. A link to my website is in the video description, as well as my social network links. Be sure to hit the like button. It does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.